What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and just a quick video today. A lot of people ask me about Garrett Barry, okay, because you can get in for free. If you are a newcomer and you've never done this before, you can actually get 5,000 eFootball points, which you can spend in the shop. In this case, you can actually get Garrett Barry. There's a couple of other players we'll get to in a second. It's, for the, it's from the banner here, the call to action banner here that you have on the main menu. You can just cycle through these until you actually get it. And all you have to do is click on this. When you first created your profile and created your actual um, login for eFootball, uh, you would have created a Konami ID, right? If you haven't done that, it's very, very simple to do it. I have previously uh, covered it on videos, but all you basically have to do is go down to here and then link your Konami ID. Click on that, follow the instructions. It's very, very easy. You just sign up on the website, but you should have done it by now if you've been playing the game even for a couple of days, right? So from that banner there, we're going to actually take a look at Garrett Barry. I've heard a lot of people ask me about him, especially in my stream the other day when I was talking about him and I said, is he worth being a free card, right? But if essentially you can get him for pretty much nothing because they are giving away this um, th these cards here, or this 5,000 eFootball points here. All you have to do essentially is to click on this banner and then go to details and then when this pops up all you have to do is go to the eFootball points official site. So press triangle or else Y on the Xbox, triangle on the PS4, PS5. Once you click on that that's going to bring you through to the website here and it'll bring you to this main page. Now all you have to do here is either click login here. If you haven't signed up already you can sign up now and just link it to your Konami ID, link your Konami ID to your email address and once you've signed up and you link both of them, you just simply log in with that same email address on the website, right? If you are having trouble, send me a message in the comments below, but it's very, very easy to do. All you have to do is log in here. Once you click on that, it will show you that you need to log in using your um, email address and your password that you just uh, signed up with your Konami ID. If you haven't already done that, you just create a Konami ID once this page is loaded, right? So that's all you do is click on that. All right, so once you log in with that, it will reload the page. And then because you have linked it to your console, it'll uh, show you that your balance will be here. And then obviously you can just be able to scroll down here and earn points. Okay, so we have currently 32,000 points. But once we click on this, a little notification will pop up that you have 5,000 points received. And then you can just exit back out. You don't need to claim it from your inbox. But just to confirm it, you can see here that we now have 37,000 eFootball points, right? So it's very, very simple. As I said, you can just create a Konami ID by following the information online there. It's very simple. Then you can go over to the shop and you can go to the eFootball points. And this is split into points, strips or items. There's nothing really in there to buy apart from a few players. Garrett Barry is the new one that they've added with eFootball 2024. Robert Perez is there. And then you've got a couple of the older guys. I've bought a couple of these. Robbie Keane is still there. I do think that Robbie Keane is a good player if you're staying free to play. Uh, Fair is a good right back as well. But Garrett Barry is a very interesting one, lads. And I'll tell you why, right? Because the way the gameplay has gone at the moment, yes, he only has 10 levels. And I get that. That's not a lot to actually train up. But he's got a wavering form, he's on B rating, they've done away with the team playstyle proficiency, and he's got insane player skills, right? So he's got one touch pass, pinpoint crossing, man marking, lofted pass, um, blocker, captaincy, interception, and fighting spirit. It's an insane card, and I think the reason that they released this card is because it's a perfect starter card if you are looking to have an anchorman DMF. He's down as a CMF. Don't worry too much about that because he can play DMF as well, right? But I'm going to show you a really good build of him here. Okay, so as I said, he only has 10 levels to go, so you need to be careful how you train him up. But this is a phenomenal anchorman, lads. A really, really solid anchorman. You've got uh, one into passing, three into dexterity, four into lower body, two into aerial strength, and six into defending. That's going to give you an 88 overall center midfielder. He'll go higher as a DMF. His card shows CMF, but I would play him as a DMF center midfielder or DMF... Uh, Anchorman, um, 83 aggression, 81 defensive awareness, very solid stats with the boost that you're going to get. And then, of course, he's got speed, acceleration and balance all in the low 70s, which is insane for a DMF that you can get for free. And, of course, it's all about his player skills. Those player skills are going to be key when you sit him in as your deep lion center or defensive midfielder. So genuinely, lads, I think if you have a couple of points lying around and you are looking for a DMF, that can just hold it all together in midfield. He's a fantastic option to have. I do think that he has a couple of weaknesses, obviously, because he definitely is slow and stuff like that. Um, but I think he's a really, really good option to have for free. So that is how to get 5,000 eFootball points and how to get Garrett Barry, a bit of a training guide, 
and a review of him. I think go for it if you have the points and you don't need anybody else with the points. I don't think that they're going to add any new players very soon. So let's see. Maybe they'll drop one every couple of weeks, but let's see. I've heard, you know, that they might. But let me know what you guys think. Have you actually bit the bullet on Garrett Barry? And how's he playing for you? Let me know. Don't forget to subscribe.